Hey y'all, I'm James and this is Creator Insider. Uh, if you're a longtime viewer of the show, you'll remember me from talking about uh, the permissions feature or a sneak peek I did a couple of months back on our new captions editor that we're working on. But today I've got a newsflash, which means I've got a video full of life-changing or at least mildly interesting updates from the YouTube product team. Uh, I'm filling in for Tom, who is trapped inside the basement of the furniture store where we normally film. All right, first update, an update that I worked on to the permissions feature. So if you're using the new permissions tool and you have a manager or an editor, they can now reply to comments on your behalf, uh, which means that you can spread out the workload. Maybe you want to focus more on creating. You've got someone on your team that can help you, you know, uh, respond to your community. Stay tuned. We have a big uh, set of updates coming for permissions in the future. Okay, so if that doesn't make it easy enough for you, if you want comment management to be even easier, we now have smart replies uh, for comments available to all English speaking channels. We've talked about smart replies on the show before, but if you missed it, smart replies are like suggestions that help you respond quickly uh, and easily to your audience. And just like Gmail smart replies, they're editable. So, you know, you can kind of start with something, but maybe personalize it just a little bit. The team is looking at expanding to more languages in the future. Okay, quick update on hijacking prevention. We know that channel hijacking is a big topic right now. This is something that's getting a lot of effort internally. One small, but I think good update on this. Uh, starting on April 6th, users are gonna be forced to re-authenticate before they do channel transfer or an AdSense association change. This is a small change, but uh, you know everything helps here. We definitely wanna keep your channels safe. One more experiment. Uh, we're trying out some new icons on iOS mobile. So for about 5% of iOS users, we'll have different icons uh, to try to help improve accessibility by featuring the outlined assets for non-selected options and filled icons for the selected icons. This allows for a high contrast and consistent state for selected and unselected icons. Yeah, that's all we got this week. Um, if you like the show today, definitely let us know in the comments. Uh, invite me to your digital happy hours. Stay safe out there. Practice some social distancing. From the Creator Insider team, I'm James. And until next time, don't front.